Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 1st of 2019, well, it is titled Black Hole Safety Video. So what do we see here? Well, this is a video produced by NASA that describe some of the properties of a black hole and what it might be like to visit a black hole. Now there is an audio to the vid to the to this video that I will not be including here but I will provide the link to the photo of the day website if you want to go watch the whole video and instead I'm going to try to comment on a few things as I play just the video portion of this. So as we start the video we see our uh, little uh, a space alien who is going to visit the black hole getting all ready and we're going to look at some of the different properties now black holes can be very misunderstood they're not something that you would want to visit however there are some uh, interesting properties and they're not necessarily as dangerous as we might initially think unless you are very close to one now the video will describe what a black hole is and a black hole is a relatively simple object in many ways in that it has all of its mass concentrated to a singularity. There's the event horizon beyond which if you get closer than that light cannot escape. So there are areas that you don't want to go to near a black hole but unless you're very close to the black hole it really makes no difference. Now, what is a black, what a black hole is not is something like a cosmic vacuum cleaner. It does not sweep up everything around it. It's only if you happen to be very close to the black hole that any of the unusual effects start to occur. How we detect black holes. How do you see something that doesn't give off any light? Well, one of the ways we do this is by looking at stars and watching the motions of stars. And when we see as in the center of our galaxy stars that are apparently moving around an empty space, there's nothing there, but there must be a source of gravity in order to um, have those. We also can see the energy as material accretes into a black hole in a disk around it. So then again, it will go over some of the safety considerations. And again, most of the area around a black hole is completely safe. It is only that very small region, very close to the black hole, where you can no longer escape and get pulled into the black hole and will be stretched out as it demonstrates as you get close enough. So unless there are solutions like being able to travel faster than light to be able to escape from that, which we believe is impossible, uh, there is really no way to get away if you get far too close to a black hole. But overall, as I said, they can be rather simple objects. They don't have all of the details associated with all of the other objects that we look at as they're a little bit different than those other objects. They have properties such as mass, charge, spin, but they don't have surface features and other different details that we study about the stars and the planets and the galaxies. So black holes in many ways can be a much simpler object, even though they're not one that we want to visit. And of course, if you want to see this video with the uh, NASA audio provided, you can use the link that I'll provide in the description so you can go down and actually watch their video and not just my commentary. So that was our picture of the day for October the 1st of 2019. It was titled Black Hole Safety Video. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.